So in touch chat word power, um, making a um, Spanish English English bilingual version has a couple extra steps um, that you wouldn't have to do in other apps. Um, so this is just a video on how to create a version that's bilingual. So that would mean that it's a fancy word, but it will toggle or move between Spanish and English. So we're going to have to save both profiles. And there's a couple tips and tricks that I learned from some colleagues recently who had to do this just because there's some programming things that are a little funky. So first, we want to pretend that I don't have anything saved. These are all other um, versions that I have. But first, you're going to want to make a copy of each vocab that you want. So you go to menu in the top right hand corner. It's right under the battery. And you're going to want to um, copy a vocab, not create a new vocab. So that'll copy one of the many that TouchChat has. So you're going to scroll through and see which one you want. And so with Spanish, there's different options. Um, so if you want them to match, again, Spanish um, has different Spanish core words. So they're not going to be exactly in the motor plan is going to change. So that's just something to note. So you'll notice that there's some options in English, like WordPower 42 Basic SS, um, and then Word Power 60 Basic SS. You want the basic title in there just because there's a lot more pictures in those than just the SS versions. Um, so when you look at other languages, you'll see down here there's not as many options in Spanish. So, for example, you're not going to have the um, Word Power 42 Basic, um, but you do have the option of the 48 and the 60 Basic. So I'm going to choose the 60 um, basic right now. And so I'm going to um, name this just um, Spanish 60. And I'm going to save that. So now you'll see that those get saved down in the Spanish area. So if you can't find it, scroll down a little bit and under Spanish, you'll see I have some that are unlocked. And so Spanish 60 is the one that I'm using today. And so now, don't forget to make a copy of the vocab in English. So now you go back to the menu in the top right hand corner, you copy a vocab, and you. Ch and for this, I'm gonna choose the English version of the Touch Chat 60 Word Power Basic SS. And so I'm gonna name it English 60. I'm gonna say this is bilingual because I do have other versions in here, so I wanna make sure that I keep these straight. So I'm going to click done and I'm going to save. So now when you go into the English version, it'll open up and the full version will be here. And so what I always do is it's really hard to find a place on here to program the button that will transfer you to the other profile, which will be the Spanish profile. So I typically use the period button, which is on the left hand corner, third down um, under clear. Um, so because it's used a little bit less than others. So what I want to make sure that you do before you do any of this is um, before you save this profile, you're going to have to um, make sure that the version that you have saved as the profile has the correct voice that you like as well. So if you go to the top right hand corner to menu and settings, you, you're going to want to have to choose the voice. So this one has Ella. Um, which is an English speaking voice, you're going to want one that speaks um, both like Spanish influence English and uh, Spanish in the right um, intonation pattern and pronunciation. So there's so many voices. This is always the most intimidating part for me. So you'll see the Spanish voices are here and you'll see down here that there's a lot of different options. So this is the Spanish Emilio voice. Hola, soy Emilio. Uno de los textos de alta calidad la discurso so voces. Seleccione y descargar side. para instalar mi voz. And so you're going to want to choose the English version of Emilio. So if you scroll up, let me make sure I can find him. Bear with me. <laughs> this is the hard part. There's always too many choices. And so I get super intimidated by this. Oh, so you'll see the Emilio child in English. So you'll see English right under Emilio. So you want to download that, that's what the little cloud says, you can listen Hello, to Hello, I'm it. Emilio, one of the high quality text-to-speech voices. It always sounds a little bit more Please go to the upgrade the store now to purchase and download my voice. So this is the version that's Spanish-influenced English, so it'll have a little bit of an accent, which sounds um, similar to if they were speaking with their voice. So I'm going to choose Emilio Child for this. 
And then I'm going to make sure to create this button or create this button dot. and save it as, oh, <laughs> see it, we'll just say dot, um, and save this profile um, once I have it. So before I can even do anything, you're gonna go up to menu in the right hand corner, settings, and save profile. So this is the way that you're gonna link the two. So you'll see that I have an English and a Spanish version. Ignore those, pretend those don't exist for you. And so I'm gonna create English 60. And because this is my second copy, I'll just put two so that I know this is the one I'm working on. So remember you save your voice first so that it makes sure that the, uh, the, the save profile has the correct voice. Otherwise it'll keep switching back to the voice that was originally the one on here. So Ella in this case, which will not create really good Spanish influenced um, English. And on the other side, it will cause a lot of problems and it will sound very, very um, incorrect in pronunciation. So you wanna save that profile. So now that you're done with that, so also you wanna make any other changes. So if you're changing anything in the settings, do that before you save it in the profile, but I'm not doing anything like that right now. So now I'm gonna to go to menu and edit page. Oh, I totally forgot. I have to go and do the same thing on the Spanish side. Okay, so you go back to vocab in the top left-hand corner. You scroll all the way down. Spanish is always hiding. I'm gonna click on Spanish 60 that I made today. And I'm going to make sure to choose the voice that I want. Settings. Right now it is Emilio. Let's see if it's the correct Emilio. I'm not sure. So I'm going to just triple check, scroll all the way down. All the extra Spanish speaking voices are on at the bottom of the page. So I'm going to choose Emilio Child Spanish. So now I'm going to test it. El. So you'll see that it has the correct pronunciation. The other thing a colleague of mine noticed, um, shout out to her, is that um, there's a couple words here. Um, for example, I think it's only um, L-E-E, -E, which I don't want to pronounce it incorrectly because I don't speak um, Spanish. But um, when, it's, when it's capitalized, because naturally these systems capitalize things, it'll actually mispronounce it and pronounce it as the name Lee. So what you want to do before you save the profile is go to settings. Let me see if I can find this. And in the speech bar, you want to turn off capitalization. So let's see if I can go through here. I think it's turn off capitalization and now that won't happen. So it won't mispronounce and it won't capitalize anything, which is totally okay. But that means that it will pronounce the Spanish words correctly. So now that I have the right voice and that I've turned off capitalizations on the Spanish side, I'm going to save this profile by going to menu in the top right hand corner, settings, and save profile. And you'll see my English 62 is there, 60 comma two or whatever. <laughs> um, then you go to Spanish and you name it whatever you want. You can name it after the child. I'm gonna name it 60 with a two as well so I can distinguish this. Click um, done and save. So now you're able to actually program the period to actually navigate and we're gonna change the button. So it's not gonna be a period anymore. So go to menu in the top right hand corner, edit page, click on the button you wanna edit. So that's gonna be the period, edit this button. And so now you wanna delete the message. Um, and you're gonna go down and delete all of these button actions because we're gonna make it a completely different button. So give me one second. I'm looking up um, the exact picture that I have saved of what my colleague had written. Okay, so on the Spanish side, just in case a Spanish speaker is using this system, um, we wanna make sure that it's also written in Spanish. So what they did is they put the button label as um, English in Spanish to make sure. And my current um, keyboard does not have the correct um, accents. So over the either be an accent. So if you're actually um, have the accent on there, make sure that the accents over the E 
And so in the button message, you're gonna wanna put English because otherwise, for some reason, it's gonna say it in, without the correct pronunciation because when you're switching over to the English size, it's already turning into the Emilio English and it just mispronounces it. We don't really understand why. So now the other piece that they mentioned is you're gonna want to, in the button actions, if you want it to speak that message and say that it's switching to English, you wanna make sure that um, first it loads the profile and second it speaks the message. That's an important order. So let's pro um, problem solve. Let's say, let me try to find this. This is the, the, all the actions that it can do. and you wanna click select profile. So now you're gonna select a different profile. So I want it to select English and that way it'll, it will go to English and I'm gonna add a button action where it's gonna speak the message and this is in alphabetical order. So that's why I'm able to do this quicker, quickly. Speak message is gonna be second, okay? And so now I'm going to pick an image. You can import an image. I just select an image. I sometimes just do, let me look it up, um, just English. And sometimes there's a good image, sometimes there isn't. Let's see if there's one that I like. So I just <laughs> do this unless it's Brit British English. Um, and then I'm going to save this button. So now I'm gonna click done in the top left-hand corner. So now this is going to switch to the English side. English. There you go. Otherwise, what we notice is if you say for it to speak the message before selecting the profile, it'll cut off in the middle of the word. So it'll be like English, and then it will select the other profile. So that's why you want to make sure that that order of button actions is in that exact order. So now on this side, we want to make sure that the, bu the, the button is also programmed. So go to menu in the top right hand corner. Edit page select that period, edit this button, get rid of that. And then you wanna make sure to get rid of all the button actions because we don't want it to do any of that. And we do want it to speak message, so you can either delete that, add it again, or keep it there. And so remember you want select profile to be first. Go all the way to the S area, select profile. It's gonna select Spanish. So my button message is gonna be the Spanish version. So and excuse the the no the incorrect spelling. Um, that's always been the hardest part for me is that I don't have that set up in my iPad yet. So there's no accent over the O. So that's incorrect. But, oh, excuse me, give me one second. Um, okay, and so now you want it to say um, Spanish, okay? And the last thing you wanna do, make sure that the button actions are in the right order. You wanna make sure, edit this, and make sure that this is on top so you can drag it up, okay? All right, so it's gonna speak message second, and then we're gonna select an image. Usually when you scroll down, you can pick an image. Save, click done. Make sure that this is the correct. Um, Git, put, open. Okay, so let me check if this is the right voice still. It is. Great, that means that we saved the profile correctly. Now we're gonna click the Spanish button, see if it works. Yes, my Lord. Okay, so you'll see that it pronounced it correctly and it goes to the Spanish side. Let's check if the voice is correct on here. Ayuda, comer. So we'll go up to menu, settings. You can hear that it's correct, but if you wanna double check, Emilio Child. So now we are all set, everything is set. And again, when you go back to the vocabulary, they will be split, so you'll see Oh my goodness, where is it? Um, English 60 bilingual is here, but the Spanish side is all the way down here, Spanish 60. But you can click on just one of them. So I would name one of one of them 
just like click here or whatever the child's name is bilingual because it's going to be bilingual you don't have to click on both profiles which is really nice so I'm just going to click on this one and this will be the one that the, the parents can find easily because it's at the top of the screen they don't have to scroll all the way down to the Spanish area and now you have a bilingual version of touch chat even though um, the words are going to be a little different because again Spanish and English have different core words so you have to remember that when thinking about this it's not going to be perfect with the motor plan but at least you'll have a bilingual version for these children and students and I hope this video helps.